KCSE 2018 essay, question 7 and 8. 7. A. Describe the mode of reproduction in a named fungus. 5 marks. Rhizopus, reproduce asexually by sporulation, spores develop from a single cell forming sporangium, which bursts on maturity releasing spores, which are dispersed by air currents. To form new generation if it lands on a suitable medium. Yeast, reproduce asexually by budding, parent cell forms a bud, this is followed by division of the nucleus into two, one of the nuclei moves into the bud, which grows and develops into a new cell. 7. B. Describe the role of hormones in the human menstrual cycle. 15 marks. After or at the onset of menstruation, the pituitary gland secretes follicle-stimulating hormone, FSH. The follicle-stimulating hormone causes the graphene follicle to develop into the ovary and stimulate the ovary tissues to secrete estrogen hormone. Estrogen brings about healing of the endometrium. Its concentration increases to a level which stimulates the anterior pituitary gland to secrete luteinizing hormone, LH, and stops further secretion of follicle-stimulating hormone. The luteinizing hormone stimulates the maturation of the graphene follicle, luteinizing hormone also stimulates the graphene follicle to release an ovum into the fallopian tube, which causes ovulation. Luteinizing hormone also stimulates the remains of the graphene follicle to form a corpus luteum in the ovary. The corpus luteum is stimulated by the luteinizing hormone to produce progesterone, progesterone then stimulates the thickening of the endometrium, in readiness for implantation. As progesterone level increases, it inhibits the pituitary gland from secreting follicle-stimulating hormone. Further, increase in progesterone level inhibits the pituitary gland from secreting luteinizing hormone, this causes the corpus luteum to degenerate, this reduces the amount of progesterone. The sudden drop in secretion of progesterone causes menstruation to occur, and the cycle is repeated. 8. Describe what happens to a meal rich in proteins along the alimentary canal from ingestion to egestion. 20 marks. The meal is ingested through the mouth, in the mouth, it is chewed to break it into smaller particles, it is then mixed with saliva from salivary gland. The food is then rolled by the tongue into boluses, and pushed down into the esophagus. The boluses move by peristalsis into the stomach. Constant contractions and relaxations of the stomach walls mix the food, giving rise to chyme. The presence of food in the stomach further stimulates production of gastric juice, which contains pepsinogen and renin. Pepsinogen is activated to pepsin by hydrochloric acid, contained in the gastric juice. Pepsin breaks down proteins to peptides. Renin converts the protein, caseinogen in milk to casein. It is then pushed into the duodenum through the pyloric sphincter. The pancreatic juice in the duodenum contains trypsin, which digests proteins into peptides. In the ileum, intestinal juice is secreted, it contains peptidase enzymes, which breaks down polypeptides into amino acids. It also contains polypeptidase enzyme which breaks down peptides to amino acids, completing the process of digestion of the proteins. The amino acids are absorbed into the bloodstream through the epithelia of the villi, and the capillary walls into the bloodstream by active transport. The undigested proteins pass through to the colon where water is absorbed leaving a semi-solid waste material being passed onto the rectum, then out through the anus. Thank you for learning in our channel, subscribe, and share.